throw a stone into a crowd in South Korea and it will most likely hit a Kim or a Park, the most common names in that country. Throw a stone into a crowd in Dubai and it will most likely hit a Keralite, the most versatile and prominent residents of Dubai. So this week when a cat fell from a building, who was down below to save it but two Keralites? Here's what happened. A pregnant cat dangling from the second floor of a building about to fall and two Keralites, a Pakistani and a Moroccan, forming a quick rescue team down below, holding out a bed sheet. We don't know if the cat was a Persian one, speaking Arabic, but the Keralite asked it to jump in Malayalam and it did. To cut the story short, the video went viral and the ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, gave a gift of 5,000 dirhams or 1 million Indian rupees each to the two Keralites, Nazir Mohammed and Abdul Rashid and the Pakistani and the Moroccan for the kindness they showed to the cat and their resourceful and quick thinking. But why were those two Keralites there in the first place on that street in Deira, Dubai this week when the cat fell? Well, that's a huge question which could be reframed this way. Why are some 2 million Keralites in the Middle East? and another some 2 million in the rest of the world and some 6 million Keralites in other states of India who together add up to nearly a third of the 35 million left in Kerala. There are at least five reasons. One, a bleak jobs scenario back home. Deep-rooted trade unionism, an immovable bureaucratic machinery and a conspiracy theory about anything private makes it very difficult to create private sector jobs in Kerala. So the youth in Kerala have two options. One, spend years writing public service commission examinations to get government jobs or migrate. The Kerala High Court asked youth in Kerala this week to shed their obsession for government jobs. A division bench of the High Court observed orally, about 75% of the state government's revenue is spent on salary and other benefits. And whatever little private investment Kerala has, has got to survive under the constant threat of the inspection Raj. A recent cartoon showed some officials in a government department discussing among themselves, it's so boring sitting here doing nothing, let's go and raid the Kitex factory. Sure enough, there was a raid at the garment major by the agriculture and pollution control departments, the 13th raid at the factory in recent months. 2. Miserable higher education Kerala has been a literacy leader and a front runner in primary education. But beyond that, higher education quality is so poor that young Keralites leave in droves to study in Bangalore, Chennai, Mumbai or Delhi and whoever can afford it goes abroad. So media is full of advertisements of study in Germany, study in US, study in Italy, study in Australia and so on. And one can be sure that in none of these countries will there be an ad saying study in India. Three. Complacency and ignoring merit. Keralites have so endeared themselves to the UAE that this week the UAE bestowed its golden visas on two Malayalam film stars, Mohanlal and Mamuti. And who was with them on the occasion but M.A. Yusuf Ali, chairman and managing director of the Lulu Group. Now, Lulu Group is an $8 billion conglomerate which has operations across different continents and has sourcing and logistics spread across 22 countries from New Jersey, USA to Yiwu, China. Now the point is, Yusuf Ali had to travel from his native Natika in Trishur district, Kerala to Abu Dhabi to discover his golden touch. I asked Dr. T.C. Satish, a Dubai-based specialist dermatologist, as to why Kerala had sticked well outside of the state. Even under hostile circumstances, uh, in fact, the adverse uh, circumstances bring the best out of the Keralite and he thrives, no matter what difficult situation he is put in. But above all, I think the most important point is the Keralite sheds his complacency once he leaves the shores. Former Kerala Ranji Trophy player Santosh Subramaniam, who has a century against Karnataka when Gundapa Vishwanath was in the team and is presently a banker in Dubai, says Kerala lacks one thing, a culture of merit. When, when you work abroad, performance is the key criteria. There has to be a culture of uh, growth and development based on performance. 
for a devalued citizenship. The least citizens expect in a modern democracy is to be treated with respect. But official high-handedness ridicules our very citizenship. This week, an 18-year-old who was wrongly accused in a sexual assault case at Tirurangadi in Kerala's Malappuram district and was jailed for 35 days, said police slapped him so hard, he is now hearing impaired. Indian citizens are treated with such contempt across the country. This week, the whole country witnessed a sub-divisional magistrate in Haryana telling policemen to break their heads while dealing with a farmer's agitation. In Chhattisgarh, we saw an IAS officer Ranbir Singh slapping a youth in public view on the road. And in Tripura, we witnessed an IAS officer, Shailesh Kumar Yadav, running right in a marriage hall. Kerala and India have a sugar-coated punishment for such erring officials. A transfer, and they just love it. Obviously, one can't expect a young and a new generation to enjoy living in a country where they are treated like worms. And five, a lack of vision. I spoke to Rajiv Vasudevan, a former country head with Motorola, a former CEO of the Technopark, and presently founder and CEO of the Ayurved Hospitals. Kerala could have been the Singapore of India if it wanted to. For example, as a healthcare destination, it could be the healthcare destination of the from West Africa to Japan. It could be a healthcare destination because the only one state where modern medicine is very much, uh, you know, mature, and Ayurveda is very mature, and the weather and the you know the entire heritage which it has got, which it can uniquely position. But where is the government? Where is the vision? There is nothing happening. So you have a state like Kerala with phenomenal advantages, total literacy, a syncretic culture, abounding in human and natural resources, and yet punching way below its weight and its youth having to scout for jobs around the world. Therefore you find the Malayali everywhere around the world. While two Keralites were catching that falling cat in Dera, Dubai, two others, P.A. Anas from Trishur and Samir from Malappuram were catching the attention of soccer legend Lionel Messi at the La Voyal Monsu Hotel from the adjacent balcony of the hotel calling out Messi, Messi. And this was the day Lionel Messi had landed in Paris to join the PSG or the Paris Saint-Germain football team. Messi! 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 Can I have? Oh my god! Keralites have shown that they can bell the cat abroad. Their challenge is to bell the bureaucrat, politician, trade union, conspiracy cat back home. This video is dedicated to K. Pushpalata, a junior public health nurse at the district hospital in Chengannur, Kerala. This week, on a single day in seven and a half hours, Pushpalata administered vaccines to a mind-boggling 893 persons. Pushpalata is symbolic of the world-class skill sets that Keralites possess. But given Kerala's poor track record of retaining human resources, one may soon find Pushpalata working in Sydney, Singapore or Seattle. Thank you.